Good evening and welcome to our fourth edition of the Wildcat Sports Network. And as always, I'm Donald Tucker, the voice of the Wildcats. It's homecoming. Tonight the Wildcats take on Rodgers and we will check in with Coach Wood and see their preparation this week as well as recap last Friday night. Today is September 25th, 2015 and you are watching the Wildcat Sports Network. Coach, thanks for joining us. Big win last week against Conway. Were you happy coming home for homecoming with that kind of win under your, under your belt? Oh, yeah, I, was, I was glad we won. I'm glad we went 2-1 in non-conference. Uh, I think that's always important as you lead into conference play, try to get some momentum. We felt when we were during the game that was a little bit, we was like pulling teeth a little bit to be productive offensively and defensively. And then so when we get back and watch the film, you know, we won the game. We're excited about winning the game, but there's a lot of things we've got to get fixed. We've got to get cleaned up and uh, do a lot better if we're going to be successful in 7A West. So overall, yeah, we're excited to be back home. We're 2-1, and one, open up conference play versus Rodgers. But the other part of that is we want to see growth each and every week, and we just don't feel like we grew like we needed to at that week three game. So we start tonight uh, conference play in the 7A West. Toughest conference probably in the country, definitely in the state of Arkansas. Physically and mentally, are the Wildcats where you want them to be? Yeah, I mean, our guys are doing everything we ask. I mean, they play hard for us. Uh, they give us great energy. They're at practice. They're engaged in practice. So, I mean, we're where we need to be from a, from a mental standpoint, from a physical standpoint with our health. You know, we're excited about getting the uh, conference slate off tonight. And we're ready to get ready to play Rodgers. So you're coming off of two high-scoring games against Rockers you know, and against Conway. You're playing Rodgers starting conference play. Is, is it hard mentally to get the kids ready you know, after winning by large margins the last two games? You know, is it taken for granted you know, the kids mentally where they're supposed to be? Yeah, I believe our kids are. I mean, you know, really our goal is not to look in the past. I mean, that was, that was weeks ago we did those things. It's all about the present, what's relevance this week, and, you know, kind of we go into the week just focusing on winning a week. Really don't worry. We've kind of pushed all of the distractions aside and really focused on that, and I think our guys are ready. All right, thank you, Coach. We're going to bring you back later on in the show to help us close it out. Right now, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Stay right there. When we come back, we're going to have Sam Hall joining us. You're watching the Wildcat Sports Network. This is Jack. And this I am starving. is Jack's appetite. It's never satisfied. I'm hungry, 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 hungry. Seriously, dude? What? Then Jack's mom started serving Tyson Anytizer snacks. With all white meat and lots of protein, they're the only snacks that make Jack's appetite disappear. Tyson Anytizer snacks. Consider snacking solved. We came to Arvest Bank to see what makes it different. It's a community bank that really reaches out to the customers to make them feel special. I feel special every time I come in here. They want to be involved in the community. They want to be part of the community. They support our university, our athletic department. They've told us that they would have, they could have a fleet of volunteers there to help this year if we needed. I see them at a lot of our Hispanic um, community events that we do. I can't think of another bank in the city that has such a big community presence as Arvest. Arvest Bank. Our customers say it best. Welcome back. Here with us now is Sam Hall, your starting defensive end for the Harbor Wildcats. Sam, welcome to the show. Thanks. Sam, what are you seeing on film and scout offense from Rodgers this week? Uh, they cut a lot. They keep low, and uh, their receivers are really fast. They don't have much of a passing game, but uh, they, got a, they got an all right rushing. So I know your, your brother, your older brother, played here at Harbor a few years ago, um, playing the same position you're playing now. You guys have bounce ideas off of each other, kind of t tips and, and heads ups. Yeah, he, uh, he, gives, he gives me some tips on uh, like pass rush moves, how to get off blocks, how to uh, like chasing down running backs. So, uh, yeah. Excellent. Sam, good luck tonight. Thank you. We're going to take another quick commercial break, but when we come back, we're going to have Coach Haney in our Coach's Spotlight. Stay right there. You're watching the Wildcat Sports Network. Do you need new tires? Do you want a price match guarantee? Do you want to wait in a newly renovated waiting room? Do you want tire services at any time with no appointment? Then Tire Tracks is the place for you. With our price match guarantee and the largest inventory of new and used tires in the area, 
We have tires for every budget. Tire Tracks, Northwest Arkansas's largest independent tire dealer. Welcome home to Lindsay Living. Affordable rates, available on-site management, attitudes of service, and amenities unmatched make residents love where they live and play. From value-packed basic apartments to resort-style living on golf courses, we manage options to fit your needs and wants. Apply online at lindsaymanagement.com for locations throughout Arkansas and in surrounding states. Here with us now is Coach Haney, a defensive specialist. Coach, thanks for joining us. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Coach, talk to us a little bit about your background in coaching. I started uh, in college. I volunteered at Russellville High School for a couple years as I was going through. Uh, my first official job was in Searcy, Arkansas, at Searcy High School. Uh, I was actually the defensive coordinator for the junior high there. I was there two years. And uh, then we, when Coach Wood got the job at Shallow Christian, I came up here with him, coached defense uh, at Shallow Christian for two years, and then we moved to Ozark. Uh, and I was at Ozark for six years. I enjoyed my time there. Uh, coached offensive line, defensive line. You know, smaller schools, you do both. So uh, was there for six years and then came up here in 2009. And I've been here ever since. This is my seventh year. Excellent. Talk to us a little bit about your responsibilities on, on the, as the defense coach. I coach uh, the inside linebackers. Our scheme, we have four linebackers, uh, two outside and two inside, and my job is to coach those two inside guys. They're the guys inside the tackle box there. Excellent. Coach, if you had to describe your defensive philosophy in one sentence, what would you say? Uh, I would say sound scheme, physical, and great tacklers. Excellent. would be the thing. Excellent. Coach, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. You Good bet. luck tonight. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We're going to hear from a few of our sponsors, but when we come back, we'll have Lou Cannon on the show. Stay right there. You're watching the Wildcat Sports Network. Chevrolet has the longest lasting, most dependable, full-size trucks on the road. And at Everett Chevrolet, we think the slogan, find new roads, couldn't be more at home than in beautiful Northwest Arkansas. The 2015 Silverado has the most fuel efficient gas V8 ever. Perfect for those long drives in the country. And for those new roads that are hard to find, Silverado's rugged power will pull you through. Family owned, customer friendly, Everett Chevrolet in Springdale. Hometown. That word still means something here. It means we're neighbors. We do the right thing. We care about your family and you deserve the very best every time you walk in the front door. Harps, hometown fresh. Homecoming 2015 is only a few minutes away, but first let's get caught up with Luke Canning. Luke, welcome to the show. Thank you. Last year being a stellar year for you, uh, conference leading rusher, how does this year compare to last year? You know, um, it's a lot different because our offense is a lot different. So. Last year, our passing game uh, was nothing compared to this year. I mean, we have Fuller, um, who I'm pretty sure started out with like our first 11 touchdowns, uh, and all of them were passing. Um, so it's just a lot different this year. Uh, last year, we relied a lot more on the ground game, which explains why I got so many carries. Um, but this year, we have a great offensive line who's uh, learning and getting some new experience. Um, through conference or uh, non-conference play. Um, Drew Dodson is a senior, Manuel Carrillo and Ross Childers, those are our seniors. And then we have uh, Kyle Guthrie is our left guard and Damon Nelson's our right tackle. And those are our juniors who are uh, getting just that experience. And uh, overall, they're blocking really well. Uh, we're getting a lot better than when we started. And uh, it's just exciting to uh, see those guys play hard. Excellent. So you, you've got Rodgers tonight. Talk to me a little bit about what you've seen on film and, and, and scout defense. Um, Rodgers is a three-front team. Um, so last year they ran a four-front against us, and that didn't work. Um, so this year they're sticking with their three-front. Um, they're going to run a 50-front, basically. So there's going to be a nose right over the center with two ends 
uh, over our tackles, and they're going to shoot hard. They're kind of a scrappier defensive line uh, from the running game. Um, and then passing-wise, uh, they play really deep, cover four mostly. Um, and so we're going to probably still going to throw the ball deep because we've succeeded at that the past three weeks. Um, but we're going to uh, try to see if we can catch them off guard, pound it, pound it, and then see if we can get one over the top. Excellent. Luke, good, good luck tonight. Thank you. One last commercial break, but stay tuned because coming up next, we're going to bring back Coach Wood, who will break down Rogers on our homecoming special. Don't change the channel. We will be right back. You're watching the Wildcat Sports Network. We came to Arvest Bank to see what makes it different. The seven to seven hours work great with our business. I'm really glad that they're open late. I'm stunned at the hours. They're open uh, later hours. You can't even get in the door and they're already greeting you. They're all nice. They're all friendly. They treat you like you're a queen. I named my puppy Arvis Bang. Okay, what kind of breed of dog do you think Arvest would be? The cutest, cuddliest, sweetest, most convenient dog ever. Arvest Bank, our customers say it best. Hi, I'm Susie Everett with Everett Chevrolet. You've heard me say we have a better way to buy your new Chevy. If you've not been here to find out what that means, I want to invite you to come see us. You'll love the way we do business. And you can shop our great selection of the North American Truck of the Year, the Chevy Silverado, with the best V8 fuel economy of any full-size truck. Family owned, customer friendly, Everett Chevrolet in Springdale, I-49 at Elm Springs Road. All right, Coach, tonight we have Harbor versus Rogers. You know, what can we expect from Rogers tonight? Well, I mean, I think Coach Flanagan does a good job. Yeah, they run a little bit split back veer. We're not split back veer, but they do run the option, kind of a double wing option, and they're getting better. They're getting their identity. In the film, we've seen growth over three weeks. They played their best ball last week against Jeff City, so they're kind of peaking as they go into conference as well. Defensively, they base out of a 50 front, but it'll be more like a 3-4 against us. A lot of pressure, a lot of movement up front. Like I said, Coach Flanagan usually has his guys ready to play against us, and that's what we're expecting tonight. Who are some of the key players tonight that we need to be keeping an eye on to, to make it successful? Well, I mean, for their offense to be successful, it starts with their quarterback play and then their fullback play. Those two guys are kind of a one-two punch. You got to put a lot of you know a lot of pressures on the quarterback to run the option, and so offensively that's where it'll start. I think they got a really good aggressive offensive line. Uh, defensively, I think you know their linebackers run well. I think they come downhill. I think those guys will be in a lot of action. You know, for us, it'll be our matchup against our, our receivers versus their secondary. They really play deep, keep everything in front of them, try not to give up the big play. So it's very important we execute in the intermediate short passing game. Talk to me about the keys tonight. I mean, what are the things we have to check off the list to, to get a victory for tonight? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is protect the ball. We can't turn it over. We've got to win the turnover battle. You know, we want to come out on the plus end there. I think kicking game's got to continue to improve. I think uh, Jesus is doing a great job on kickoff. You know, continue to get better in our punt game. Uh, that's something we've got to continue to grow at and try to improve. Kickoff return can, it continues to need to be cleaned up a little bit on our guys' execution. I think we started to see that last week against Conway. And then uh, just, you know, a defense that continues to go out there and get us the ball. And they've done a good job of that lately. They have. Coach, good luck tonight. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. You bet. That's all the time we have for our homecoming show. Stay tuned at the halftime for the crowning of the 2015-2016 Homecoming Queen. For Superintendent Dr. Jim Rollins and Athletic Director Wayne Stellick, I'm Donald Tucker. Stay tuned. Up next is kickoff. We'll see you next time.